hi hello guys welcome to this channel this video i will show you the demo or uh, the tutorial how to use the google play book to be honest i recently used this application for i mean three days and i got impressed that this google books is very good uh the feature and then all of it is very good here i have I use my Google Book by this old, I mean not very old, this Samsung Tab A1 which is not so strong because the, the RAM only 2 gigs and then the storage only 1 gigs, I think, I don't know. But it's okay because I, op I, I use this tab just only for read on Google Play Books. Consider you have you already have the Google Play book and then you already have your books which is you can uh, the free one you uh, consider you already purchased the book that free or uh, not free for me I already bought these books the hard thing about the hard thing about hard thing from Ben Horowitz here I will I will demo for to you the features inside the Google Play Books. Here, as you can see, my books is on the dark screen mode, which is the background black color, and then the, the words and the, it's a white color. It's very good because I'm 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 really nice. I'm really comfortable to dark mode uh, devices. We can set it by press on anywhere. Oh, sorry, uh, on the toggle upper like like normal toggle. But here, this Google Book has an, another toggle, so you can open this A A or the alphabet uh, button, and then you, I can I can change the environment of my book. Or the theme of my book by to into the white or into the uh, cream and then into the dark mode or the black mode and then also I can I can adjust the brightness and the most important things for this feature is I can adjust the text because sometimes we read on our device the text is too small and then the spacing is too tight it's very difficult to read and now I just realized that Google Books solve that matters so I hope uh, you can click this text and then you can choose whether which text you want to read here the option is like sans literata I don't know but I just put the, the original and then here I can change the font size of my books it's very cool see now my book has a bigger font easy to read font and then also i can make it spacing uh, make better spacing but by edit more spacing and so on and so on see it's very good it's very good for user experience and i really love this feature of google books okay here the, this uh, the first function of or the, or the first feature i will explain to you and then the next feature is you can bookmark or uh, give any sign to your book to your digital book so for example i want to highlight this entrepreneur uh, words and then i just press and hold and then i can drag it like a normal texting messages and then i can I can highlight it into red or yellow or green or blue color. For example, I want to highlight it into blue color. See, it's turning into blue color. And then, moreover, if you don't understand the sentences here will be pop up when you block any sentence or any words in your book will be pop up the uh, what we call the call out from Google, the meaning in the uh, the explanation of the words still you don't understand you can open the google translate by just one click so you no need to open your chrome you don't need to open another application here the translating automating automated 
it's very good for me because sometimes I'm not native in English, so sometimes I need to open my Google Translate while I'm reading the regular book. Now I don't need anymore to open Google Translate uh, very badly, just one click. Okay, and then the next feature, if we, we if we press and hold this this Google Book, we can add any notes here the paper and plus symbols we can plus and then we can put any note and then we can also copy the text and then you that uh, there is a quota of copying because uh, sometimes uh, Google prevent from the copywriting or sorry prevent from plagiarism uh, act and then the next feature that I don't, uh, I don't really like, I because I think, I mean not really like the, I can bookmark my book by pressing this top corner, right corner of book. See, it's showing this bookmark. But unfortunately, if if I put a bookmark from this page and then on the next following page I, I, I want to put the bookmark it can't be done I don't know why it can't be done by this playbook maybe it's some of kind of bug maybe sometimes Google will uh, what will will fix it in the, in the future and then the next thing I don't really like is uh, And uh, the this uh, of I c usually I skimming from my regular book, so I w I just open the pages page by page. Now if I using this Google Play book, the the book showing in slow speed, so it it doesn't open the the content immediately, so I can't do my skimming method uh, it, it sounds just glitch of uh, bad news from this application from other thing it's very good application i rather this one uh, than kindle i don't know what kindle uh, kindle offering us but the most important of google books is you can read from your tab from your phone and from your pc because is it seamless application as long as you log on to the same google account okay that's my review that's my demo of google playbooks i hope it's helpful for you if it is please subscribe our channel and then if you like if you have any question regarding this playbook don't uh, don't hesitate to put the comment below thank you bye bye